Hi there, I'm Tara Kessner. Welcome to this wake up and have a great day yoga class using corked essential oils. If you haven't heard of corked, you should check them out. They're a company out of Minnesota and they make some fantastic aromatherapy blends. We are going to be using Meditate and Alive today. Uh, Meditate is kind of their clear thought, peaceful mind blend. Alive is their good mood and have a great day blend. Uh, Meditate has frankincense, orange, uh, lang lang, lots of great oils. That's the one great thing about Corked is they don't spare the oils on the mixes. They will put 15 to 20 oils in a blend so you really get your money's worth there. They also add vitamin B12, which is helpful if you're a vegetarian or a vegan because most B12 that we get comes from eating animal products. And if you don't do that, well then every little extra bit helps. So I have down in the description, the link to Cork's website so you can check them out and hopefully get some of these oils for yourself. Or if you're doing this class, you already have them. You're already ahead of the game. Also, while you're looking at that description, please, please, please check that little uh, red subscribe button and subscribe to the channel. It will never cost you anything. These yoga videos are always absolutely free to you. It just helps support my channel within the YouTube platform. All right, well, thank you for that. And let's get started on this wake up and have a great day class. So the first oil we're gonna use is Meditate. And also you'll notice that I have diffusing here. Uh, I'm diffusing the Alive scent right now because the cork blends are all about diffusion. Um, so if you don't have a diffuser, you can get them anywhere, Bed Bath & Beyond, TJ Maxx, Home Goods, or you can order them on Amazon, or you can get everything else. And we're just going to take this Meditate blend, a couple of drops. We're using it straight up today. We're not trying to cover any surface areas, so we won't use a carrier oil. And rub it in your palms. Get some heat going there. Ah. Smells very herbaceous. And then place one hand on your chest and put the other hand on top. Lower your chin, close your eyes, and take a nice slow breath in. Hold on to it at the top and then let it go with an open mouth exhale. Ah. A couple more just like that. Big, slow inhale. Nice, slow exhale. Ah. One more here. Inhale. Exhale. Ah. And without opening your eyes, just bring your palms together. Let your thumbs rest on your chest and take a breath in and as you exhale purse your lips and blow it out so you can feel a gentle little breeze across your fingertips a couple more of those inhale hold on to that scent at the top and then let it go exhale And one more breath here. Blow it out slow. And begin to blink your eyes open. Let your hands come down to rest on your knees. Roll your shoulders up, back and down. Ah. Begin to lean to your left. As you lean in there, you'll start to feel the side, the oblique muscle, the QL. And just take it here and start to lean forward as you round and flatten your back. And then lean it over to your right. And then lean back. 
lower chin to chest. Take in some of that oil. Inhale. And on the exhale, lean to the left. Inhale here. Exhale, lean forward. Inhale here. Exhale, lean to the right. Inhale here. Exhale, lean back. Let's try that with a little momentum. Inhale, and as you exhale, lean left, front, right, and back. Inhale. Exhale, left, front, right, and back. One more breath in. Blow it out slow as you come around that circle. And back to the center. Take a breath in here. Begin to lean to your right and pause. Just hold on to it there. And then bring it forward. Adjust your upper spine, rounding and flattening. And then lean over to the other side. Now let's take it back to it with the breath. Drop your chin into your chest. Take a breath in. As you exhale, lean to the right. Inhale here. Exhale, lean forward. Inhale here. Exhale, lean left. Inhale here. Exhale, lean back. Let's do that with some momentum. Inhale. Exhale, right, front, left, and back. Breath in. Exhale, right, front, left, and back. One more. Inhale. Take it around one last time. And bring it back to the center and sit up tall. Interlace your fingers together. Flip your palms forward. Now begin to lean forward, reaching out and drop your head. Ears between the biceps. Take a breath in. Feel those back ribs expand. Slow exhale. Another breath in. As you exhale, lift your face, release your hands, bring them around behind you. Now hook your fingers together the best you can. Maybe you just hook them or maybe you lace them all together. Begin to lean forward, letting your hands rest on your back. Draw the shoulder blades together, lift and lower your chin until the neck is neutral. And then if you want more, begin to lift your hands up off your back. Opening up across collarbones, Breath in, breath out, one more, let it go, and sit up tall. Bring your left fingertips to the floor and your right hand across on to your knee. Look forward, take a breath in. As you exhale, look behind you, take that seated twist. Inhale, back to the front. Look straight ahead. Exhale, look back. Seated twist. One more time. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, look back. Bring it back to the front. Left fingertips or right fingertips back, sorry. Left hand across. Sit up tall. Take a breath in as you look forward. Tuck your chin a little, and then as you exhale, look around behind you. Inhale forward. Exhale back. One more time. Inhale to the front. Blow it out as you take that twist. Waking up the spine. Back to the front. Let it go. Roll those shoulders around a little bit. And come on over for child's pose. Coming to all fours, take the knees nice and wide and begin to settle the hips back towards the heels, lowering down on 
to the forearms, letting your head come down, and just pausing here, settling into whatever resistance you're feeling. And close your eyes, take three breaths into those back ribs. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, one more. And let it go. Oh. And start to make your way up into all fours, bringing the knees underneath you. We're going to come into modified side plank. So your left foot, kick it off of the mat onto the floor. Begin to slide your right foot straight back, straightening it out, and start turning, opening yourself up to the long edge of the mat. And sweep that right arm up, up, up. Steady yourself, make any adjustments that you need to. Open up the chest, and then if it feels good, begin to reach up and over your head if you need a little more. If you want a little more, you want to get into that hip flexor. That leg that's extended out long, begin to slide it back behind you, pressing the hip forward. Getting a little more into that hip flexor right here in the front of the hip. Take a breath. You've got this. If you moved your foot back, slide it back in line with your hip. We're going to reach up to the ceiling, look up, and then begin to reach over the head, circling the arm around one time, two times, just opening that shoulder up. This last time, we're going to sweep that arm up and around and let it land on the extended leg. Now gently push off the floor, stand up on that bent knee, reach the left hand up, come into gate pose as you slide the hand down the outside of the leg. Breathe here. And then we'll move between those two poses two times. So nice and slow, make the core wake up and do the work. So begin to cartwheel hands to the mat, left hand to the mat, right hand reaches up, and then over and down onto the leg, push up. There's one. And then bring it on down again, left hand to the mat, right hand sweeps up, over, around, onto your leg, coming back up to gate pose. And then back to all fours. So we can do all that on the other side. So we'll kick the right foot off onto the floor, slide the left foot out long, open the body up towards the long edge of the mat, begin to reach up. If you want a little more, reach over your head. If you want a little more, even still slide that left foot behind you, press the hips forward and take a slow breath. If you moved your foot back, bring it back in line just so you have a little better balance. Begin to circle that arm around, dropping it down, sweeping it up over your head, and down and around again, up over your head. This time, let your hand land on your extended leg. Push off of that mat, stand up on that bent knee. Bring the right arm up overhead. Begin to slide the hand down the straight leg. Gate pose. Breathe here. And then we'll move two times between modified side plank and gate. Here we go. Cartwheel the hands to the mat. Let that left hand continue to circle around. Lands on the straight leg, push off, come up into gate, there's one, and slowly take it back down again, circle that hand up and around and on to your leg, strong core as you come on up, gate pose, and then bring it on down, back to all fours. And begin to tuck the toes under. And lift one knee and then the other. Drop your head. Slowly lift your hips. Bend a downward 
facing dog, that upside down view, oh, the first one is always rough. So bend your knees, pedal out your heels, focus on your lower leg, wake up the feet, the ankles, the calves, and then begin to walk the feet forward, bringing knees up under the belly briefly through ragdoll, letting the belly rest on the tops of the thighs, dropping your head, swaying it out. And slide the hands up onto the knees, sit the hips back and down. Begin to push the upper body off the legs. Head's gonna come up last, slowly stack one vertebrae on top of the other, lift the shoulders into the ears, roll them back and down as you come to standing. When you get up here, sweep the arms up overhead. We're gonna start to add a little movement. Bend your knees and swan dive, either halfway or all the way down. Inhale, bring it up, fill it up. Exhale, dive it down. One more like that. Inhale, bring it on up. Exhale, dive it down. Stay here. Steady yourself with your hands. Step your feet back into downward facing dog. Shake out your head a little. And begin to lift your left leg up behind you. Bend your knee and step your foot forward onto the mat. Low lunge. Shift around a little forward and back. Limbering, loosening. And then plant that right hand, look left, and with an inhale, sweep that left hand up, revolve lunge. Exhale, bring it on down, little bounce in the back foot, step to the top. On the inhale, take a halfway lift, slide the hands up the fronts of the shins, flatten out the back, straighten out the legs. Maybe your hands are up here, that's okay. Rebend the knees and swan dive down to the floor. Let's do that again. Inhale, rise up to standing. Exhale, bend the knees, swan dive down. <sighs> Steady yourself as you step back to downward facing dog. Shake out your head on the right leg. Lift the right leg up high. Swing the knee towards the chest. Step the foot onto the mat and shift forward and back. Plant that left hand, look to the right. And when you're ready, sweep that right arm out and up. And bring it on down. A little bounce in the back foot helps step to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold a little faster this time. Inhale, rise up. Follow your breath. Bend your knees. Swan dive on the exhale. Inhale, step back to downward facing dog. And on the exhale is here. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, step into that low lunge. Look to the left and with a big inhale, revolve that lunge. Exhale, bring it down. A little bounce on the inhale, step it to the top, blow it out here. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Last time through, inhale, rise up. Bend your knees, swan dive, blow it out. Inhale, step it back. Downward facing dog, blow it out here. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, step into that low lunge. Inhale, look to the right. Sweep that right arm up, revolve lunge. Exhale, bring it down. A little bounce in the back foot as we step to the top. Take one more halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Begin to sit your hips back. Let your chest rest on your thighs. Tick-tock your feet in a little closer. Pinch the knees together. Hands to the knees. Push the body off of the legs. Tuck and untuck your tail. Sit back. Hips behind the heels. Engage the core. And then reach the arms out for chair pose. A couple of breaths here. Feel that little bit of shaking that's going on in the legs. We'll take one more breath. And as you exhale, drop your hands and begin to straighten the legs, standing up. Separate the feet. Shake it out a little. We'll finish in a balance pose. We're going to finish with 
Standing figure four. I love this pose because there are so many variations of it. It's a little challenging, so if you need a wall or a chair next to you, grab that now. And we'll start on the left side so your chair or your wall will be to your left. Step into your left foot. Bend the knee slightly. Bring your right ankle up to rest on that knee. Hands are on the hips to start, or one hand on the chair or the wall. And then begin to sit the hips back and down, eventually bringing the hands to prayer. In front of the chest is good. If you'd like to go a little lower, bring the left hand down onto that foot and bring the right hand onto that knee. Sit a little deeper. If you still want to go more, bring your elbow onto the knee and your elbow onto the foot. Hands to prayer. Stay here. If you still want more for more of a challenge to start your day, bring your fingertips to the ground. Drop your head and then begin to lift your hips, straightening out that leg. That's a lot of hamstring extension, so please be careful. And slowly start to make your way out of this pose. Wherever you are, one step at a time. Bring it back up, hands to hips. So we'll all step up and step into the right foot. Gently bend that knee, place the ankle on top of the knee. Wall or chair to your right this time. Begin to sit down and back. Moving on, bringing the hands to prayer. In front of the chest, staying right here. Wobbling's a good thing. Maybe moving on, bringing the hand onto the foot and the hand onto the knee, sitting a little deeper. We're moving all the way into elbow, right into the arch of the foot, elbow into the knee, hands to prayer. Still want more? Bring the fingertips to the ground. Drop your head and maybe play around with straightening that leg. Let's make our way out one thing at a time. Press on up. Hands to the hips, step it out. Nice job. It's good to start the day with a little bit of a challenge. And let's take one more breath in. Exhale, dive it down. And go ahead and come to a seat on your mat. And we're going to finish with Alive, the Good Mood Oil. So it's in the kind of reddish, orangish bottle. Alive has great stuff in it like lemon and ginger and thyme and vanilla. So it's a great scent. Now on Quirk's website, they sell these great little aromatherapy bracelets that have some lava beads in them. So you can just put a couple of drops in there, rub it in, and it will absorb into the rock. Well, it will absorb, but it will stay in those little crooks and crevices. It'll kind of diffuse all day. But if you don't have one of those, first of all, you should get one. But if you don't have one for today, we're going to rub this alive onto some pulse points. So rubbing it right into the wrists, and across the collarbones, and finish out onto the shoulders. Take a few breaths of that amazing scent. Very citrusy. And we'll bring the soles of the feet together. And you're just going to let the knees do what they want to do. We're going to do bound angle and then into butterfly. So in bound angle, the feet, the legs are more like a triangle shape. We're going to sit up tall, creating some dynamic tension as you draw your chest up through your arms and then hinge forward at the waist with keeping a nice flat back. So bound angle is more about your outer hips. And we will Take that into butterfly in a second. Take a breath. Mm. Let it go. Now let your knees come up. Let them do what they want to do. Maybe bring them in a little closer. Let your tailbone begin to tuck under. Now you can adjust your grip up here to the tops of your tops of your shins. Yeah, higher up on your shin, or just hold onto the ankles and drop your chin down. And lean back a little. Feel that extension from the tailbone 
up the erector spinae muscles along the sides of the spine. And you can lean forward a little if you prefer that. That adds more of a groin stretch. Ah, come on out. Just come to a comfortable seated position. Give the shoulders one more roll. Close down your eyes. Bring your hands to prayer. Let your thumbs rest on your chest or put one hand on your chest and the other hand on top of that hand and lower your chin. Let's take three breaths together. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Hold on to it and then let it go. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. And let your hands come to rest on your knees. Whenever you're ready, blink your eyes open. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this class with corked essential oils. Have a great day. Namaste.